So Kyle's going to do a normal bike rack, or he can do a stand up, whichever one you want. Yeah, go ahead and do it. Yep, whatever I want. Right? So he's going to step up with that front knee. Okay? As the guy at the bottom, I know that my guard's getting broken. I'm not just going to lay here and take it. Right? So I'm going to start setting up my offense. I'm going to grab his sleeve, roll those fingers up, and latch onto it. My far foot is going to go to his hip. My inside leg is going to tuck right under his leg and hook, hook the inside of his leg with my toes. Okay? Just to check to see if he's got a tuck, tuck, just tickle him a little bit. All right? My other hand, my free hand now is going to grab his heel and pull it towards my butt. I'm not trying to yank on it, right? I'm just grabbing it so he can't pull his leg out. Okay? Now he's got two options. Fairly well, like, makes sense, right? He, he can either stand up or he can stay here. But I don't want to give him that option. So I'm going to step on his hip and stretch him out, right? That'll usually, usually encourage them to stand up, okay? When you start stepping on them, sometimes they'll stay there and it'll be even easier, right? So I got his sleeve, I got his heel, and I'm stretching him out. Now, my knees are squeezing together. I'm going to try to... Is that the heel right now? Correct. Yep. I'm going to take the front knee. I'm going to try to touch Sorry. it towards the ground. And I'm pulling on his wrist. As I stretch him, don't, 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 until he falls. I'm going to put this foot on the ground and pull my bottom leg out behind me. So I kneel on his leg. Slide through. Do it in a second. You are a master. All right? Do it again. Just hold. Okay? It helps if you don't tell them what you're doing so they get a little, get a little bit more pain. Right? So he's starting to break my guard. I'm already setting up my option. Okay? He stands up thinking that he broke my guard. I grab that heel, stretch him out. Like she said, this is called De La Hiva guard. This is called my De La Hiva hook. I'm hooking his leg, curling my toes back, and I'm actually pulling towards me, right? Actively with this leg to attach to his leg. Lifting a little bit, okay? I'm holding onto his heel here so he can't pull that leg out. Stretching him out, okay? And then I'm gonna turn both my legs towards that hand I'm controlling, dump him over. Right, like a table missing one leg. Okay, as he falls, I'm gonna post up, come up, I'll hold onto that ankle till I lose it here, then I can use my knee to control him. I can slide forward or I can back step, go behind him. Right, holding onto the wrist the whole time. Questions? With that arm, are you actually doing anything with it or just holding it so he can't I'm post? I'm pulling on the arm as I step on his leg to stretch him out, right? So I'm pulling him here as I'm stepping on the other leg to stretch him out, and then when I dump him, he has no, nothing, no, no uh, table leg to keep him from falling over. Sure. Right? He can post with the free hand all he wants, but then I take him towards the shoulder. What's that? Nothing. <laughs> Questions? So, break the guard. Go ahead and stand up just so your hips don't get stretched out. Then dump him over. One, two, three.